they do their dirty work at night. You come back here in the morning, and it looks like we ain't even been here. You city folk think that these beavers are cute and cuddly little animals, but I tell you, they are destructive critters. They dam up the riverbed, they kill all the timber with these little teeth of theirs. I'm in a constant running battle with beaver. These rascals never quit, but I got news for them. We don't either. Hey, Phil, what's the deal? Boys, on the other side of this ridge, I stumbled upon the biggest beaver dam I've ever seen in my life. Let's go get them. Take no prisoners, boys. Hold on now. We just can't go charging up in there now, son. Why not? Because I've been watching this place for a little while. These beavers ain't your average beaver. I hate them average beavers. What's the difference, Phil? Well, for one, they seem a lot smarter than normal beavers. You know what I'm saying? I hate them smart beavers. And for two, this is a whole lot more beaver dam than a regular beaver dam. And guess what? They just keep adding to it. It's going to take some serious strategic firepower to stop these suckers. They are big. I hate big beavers. We get it, son. You hate all beavers. Phil, what's the plan of attack? All right, everybody reload and shoot straight. We have to conserve our ammo now, boys. If you boys can fend them off one section at a time, I can slog along here and run some TNT with a fuse. Once we get all three, poo -hoo, poo -hoo, poo -hoo, no more beaver dam. That sounds awesome. Sounds tough. Oh, it's going to be tough, all right. Going to need a sharp rifle, man, John Luke. That'd be you. All right, boys, let's take them down. Hey, John Luke, I've been watching you, son. You do this right, and you're going to be a true-blooded Robertson duck man. You know what I'm saying? All right, everybody load up. Okay, let's do it. Hey, I'm going to hook up the fuse to the plunger. Uh, it's going to take me a second to strip the wires. Here come them beavers. You shoot while I get this contraption ready to blow. Told you it wasn't me. The beavers ate Kay's chili. We don't need dynamite to blow up the dam. Just aim at their butts. I got the ground wire set up. One more to go. Fire it up! John Luke, push her down. My finger! This is gonna take a while. So much pressure. This looks a lot easier in the movies. What 
What in the heck was I doing again? Let's go! Blow it up! Last one, Phil. That's all she's gonna take. Uh-oh. What do you mean, uh-oh? Alright, we got no more fuges and no more dynamite, boys. What? We were so close. What can we do now? No fuse. No dynamite. No explosion. We'll have to go back and get more. Well, by that time, these super beavers will have built it all back up again. Well, that's the way it's looking. No. Huh? No. What? No. Si, what are you talking about with no? Hey, I got something. What is that? Homemade napalm, boys. What are you doing carrying around napalm, Si? Just like the Boy Scout, Silas Merritt Robertson always comes prepared, Jack. Hey, look a here, look a here. Now that's scary. I wouldn't even trust your cooking, Si, let alone your homemade concoction of napalm. No kidding. Hey, I learned how to make that in Vietnam. You can trust it. Even if this stuff works, Si, how are we supposed to use it? We don't even have any fuses left. Don't need no fuses. What are you talking about? Oh, napalm can be ignited all right if it's punctured fast and hard. Like with a bullet? Bingo! Even if that's so, look at that beaver dam. How are you even going to get over there without getting hurt or singeing off your beard? It's an inferno. Hey, I used to bomb the old pigskin back when I played a little college ball as a quarterback. I still got enough juice in the old arm to make it over there. Like toss it? Try to keep up, son. Yeah, like toss it. Hey, that's what I'm talking about. Listen, these little suckers are pretty smart. They'll figure out whatever this is as soon as it lands, and they'll try to take it away. I'm telling y'all, we won't have all day. Let's do this. This is our last shot. Literally. Hey, Phil's got this. Shoot it, John Luke. <laughs> You did it! Hey! Way to go, John Luke! Good work, John Luke. Old beavers won't be back for a while. Let the river flow. Man, you really impressed me, John Luke. Me too. Me three. You truly are a Robertson through and through. I couldn't wait to say these words. Welcome to the business. Our newest employee, John Luke. Hear, hear. Alright, alright. You start on Monday and no goofing off. Well, that celebration was short-lived. Hello? Hello? Miss K? What you got? You're supposed to say breaker, breaker. You boys done playing? Supper's ready and we ain't waiting all day. What better way to celebrate than by stuffing our bellies? We'll be there. Okay, buddy. Hurry it up. And tell those other two they're gonna get it for sneaking away like that. Uh-oh. Time to go. I'll tell them. Okay, boys. What do you say we hit the road? Whew, I am starving. I'm going to drive back so fast I may break the sound barrier. Hey, I'm going to break some wind too. Si, do you even hear how you phrase things? What? Y'all bow a minute. Father, we do thank you for these fine fish and ducks you have blessed us with. Thank you, Father, for blessing us in so many ways, spiritually and materially. Amen.
If there's one thing I can say about us Robertsons, after years of different generations have worked together, it's this. Whether you're helping someone fish their way out of a potentially big problem, pitching in when another one of us is in a particularly squirrely situation, or even encouraging each other to take a shot so we can overcome a problem on our own. In the end, even though each day may come with its own set of trials and challenges, no matter what happens, we will always have each other's back. And even more so than luxurious facial hair. That's what being a Robertson is all about. Hey, Si, you got a little food in your beard. Hey, that ain't food, boys. That's a bugger alert. Gross. Gross. <laughs>